happen in every event that John is in. Bring everybody. Okay. What? No? Free speech? Everybody. So, talk. Thank you. People of Israel, I mean, it's, I sympathize with everyone. All we want is to feel safe and free for everyone. So, I'm definitely not someone that doesn't talk about those issues at home. But I'm also, I also don't, sometimes it just can be really scary and I just, you want your friends and family to be safe all over the world. And I have friends from both sides, from all sides, from all countries. And I think you just have to only really speak out if you really know what's going on. So I try to, get, I, I think about like, what do I talk to my kids about? I really talk to my kids about feeling safe and just being good human beings and treating everyone with the same level of respect that you would want to be treated with. And it's a scary, it's scary times for sure. What's your perspective? I just felt like Kim Kardashian, what she said, she was saying a whole lot of nothing. And, but what we can take from that, when she said free everybody, we can think about the people in Congo, we can talk about people in Sudan, we can talk about people in Haiti, we can talk about the people in Gaza. And let's jump right into it and see what's going on in these countries. We need to talk about the silent genocide happening in Congo. The exploitation of Congolese people has claimed millions of lives and the media is not talking about it at all. In fact, around every hour 48 women are sexually assaulted, 6 million Congolese people have lost their lives over the past decade, and millions more have been displaced. Also, the Western world can continue to benefit off of Congo's natural resources like cobalt. The land of Congo has the largest amount of cobalt, which is a critical mineral used in technology. Western nations like the US, the UK, and France have given military and financial aid to groups in Rwanda and Uganda to invade cobalt-rich areas. And because of these invasions, Congolese people are either killed or enslaved and forced to mine cobalt, which includes pregnant women and children. Genocides and crimes against humanity that take place in Africa are never covered in the media as much as other events. Looking at a video now, this is yeah. so crazy to see. This is the bottom of the supply chain of your iPhone, of your Tesla, of your Samsung. I mean, I'm just naming those companies. Right. Uh, it's all of them, right? All of them. And here's what you need to know, Joe, about this video. This is an industrial cobalt mine where there's not supposed to be one artisanal miner. Now that's the term used for people who are just digging by hand as opposed to tractors and excavators. There's not supposed to be one here. That's what the story is told at the top of the chain. There's more than 15,000 human beings crammed into that pit, digging by hand. And if you have sound, you hear the mallets, you hear the shouting, you hear the, the grunts. And that's the truth that needs to get out there. That's the truth people need to understand because this is a story that goes back generations. There's these fictions told at the top of the chain about what conditions are like at the bottom. And truth seekers have to go find that truth and enlighten civilization so that people, people get agitated about it and want to do something about it. So there's no clean cobalt. Let's just make that totally abundantly clear. Over 6 million people are currently displaced in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. People of all ages, especially children, have been forced to leave their homes and they're doing what they can to survive. Please support creators like Papi Orion. We need more visibility for what's going on in the Congo. Let's keep our eyes on Congo. Let's keep our eyes on Sudan. And make sure you follow this creator and stay up to date about what's happening in the DRC. And a lot of these kids are also being sold in bags right now, which is just sad. And that's definitely something that we need to highlight. And this is why I'm making this video. <laughs> It's absolutely crazy what's happening in Congo right now and 
I chose just to upload this video so you guys could just see them instead of me trying to like My English is not the best so I don't feel like I should be like talking about this just after watching it I just felt like it was better for you guys just to watch the videos that I've seen and people talking about this and a lot of things are happening in Congo right now which is really, really sad and Congo definitely needs to be in the news a lot more as well as Gaza as well as Haiti as well as Sudan because a lot of things are happening in those countries. I just feel like Gaza is getting so much media attention right now, which is really, really good. But I feel like the other countries as Congo, Haiti, and Sudan needs to get a lot more attention as well. And you can find some links down below if you want to support these countries. And if you don't have money, you can always find like a filter, a song and TikTok that can help um, support these countries because the creators will don donate the monies and that they're that they have earned from creating the filters and songs on TikTok so you can always find them on TikTok and create something with them and then spread the word in that kind of way because that helps a lot as well and I just felt like I just had to do something on my channel even though I'm not big I just feel like it's better than not to do it so here you have it this is what's going on and for the last clip I want to show you guys what's going on in Gaza because I feel like we all know but this is just a visual of what is actually, actually happening right now and it's just sad to see. For those of you who are visual learners, this is what's been happening the past 215 days of this genocide. Watch. Remember when they told everyone to move down south? It's going to be safe down south. Watch. The crazy part is, I showed you guys this 135 days into this genocide. We are 80 more days into this genocide, and we are literally witnessing the same thing. Close to 40,000 innocent people have been murdered. Tens of thousands are still under the rubble. And now everyone's here, down in the south, in Rafa, and they're bombing Rafa. There are over 1.5 million innocent Palestinians that have been displaced in the south of Gaza, in Rafah, right here. Over 600,000 of them are children. The aid, the food, the waters, all in that area. And now Israel's indiscriminately bombing this area. Now, mind you, all of these people are living under tents. They're indiscriminately bombing this area, dropping leaflets from the sky, telling them it is no longer safe to be there. They have to leave. Where are they supposed to go? Literally, where are they supposed to go? There is nowhere else for them to go. How can you look at this visual demonstration and not call this a genocide, not call this an ethnic cleansing, not call for a ceasefire? So we need you now more than ever to keep posting, keep sharing, and do not stop talking about Palestine. So with that said, all eyes on Rafa, all eyes on Congo, all eyes on Sudan, all eyes on Haiti, and um, yeah, free all those countries. And that's the only thing I have to say in this video. So yeah.